Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta, if you are new here. And yeah, the weather is getting warmer and so many of you have been asking me for some new summer fragrances. So I have some that are not new. Um, some of them are just new to me, but a lot of fun summer fragrances. And yes, I will continue that fruit series for you. I have a whole bunch of lists already made for you. I was just waiting for a few in the mail, but, um, yeah. And I'm trying, I always did like for two years, Saturday and a midweek. I'm trying to transition that to Friday and Sunday. It's not necessarily ever working out for me, but I'm <laughs> trying to get to that schedule somehow. I somehow always seem to land back on Saturday. Probably just old habits hard to die, but I know it's been really like always a different day surprising you, but it's always twice a week though that I upload. But anyway, let's get into it to some of these great summer fragrances for you. Um, the first one, I couldn't help myself. The fragrance, the candle that I got from Dessier, I couldn't help myself. I had to go back for more. They have four different scents. Uh, one of them is Dior Sauvage. I, am, I wasn't quite sure about getting that, but this one was like easy on my list and I wanted to get this again. These are pretty new for them. Um, it's a two wick, same size. I think it's like 10 ounces. 14 ounces, sorry, 14 ounces, same size as the three wicks from Bath and Body Works. However, way better quality. Like I am actually really blown away by the quality, like over the moon. And I burned every day the um, floral marshmallow, which is like Love Don't Be Shy and Orange Blossom Marshmallow fragrance. I can't tell you how that was filling my house and how long it lasted. I was really impressed. So I did have to get another one. I got Ambery Vanilla, which is like Black Opium by YSL. Oh my gosh, like coffee, ambery, vanilla. It is phenomenal. I get it. It's a little warm for winter, but I am just such a candle addict. It's insane. Um, pricing wise, I mean, they're not exactly cheap. I mean, I usually get Bath and Body Works on candle day for $10. I think otherwise they're like $26. However, there's zero comparison in quality. Honestly, zero comparison. They're definitely more on par with like the House of Siage that I love, which are like $60 and then on sale $30, but they're, they're smaller. I, I mean, I can admit, like especially having burned that one down over the last month, they're good try to get a sale price because I think they're like 40, 50 to start with. And then there's different ways to discount. I have a discount code. I think there's better ones you can find, but seriously worth it. And on that note, while I was getting that candle, I noticed they have something else new now, which I was like, hello. Okay. Add to cart. I need that. They now have room diffusers too and the same fragrances. So I got the floral marshmallow because I was over the moon about that one. And I could tell you, even though this is sealed, I could smell it in the box. And I just got so giddy with happiness because they do this fragrance so well. And that's just marshmallow fruit is just something that I really like. So having this fill the room in the house and then maybe like the back door open, the fresh air is coming in now because it's been beautiful out. And it's just, oh, I love it. I can't deny it. Or like walking in the house after being somewhere and having this go where you don't have to have the flames going. You don't have to worry about watching the flames. Or if you have a dog, like I have Angela with a big fat tail, I have to be careful where I put them. I just, this can keep going all the time and make the room just smell so fruity, delicious. And I'm loving it. I have to say, these are bomb. I got to tell you. They are worth it and I'll probably go back for more because I really like them. I really like them. Okay. Next up, um, these are fragrances that I had kind of had my eye on for a while. And then when I was in Venice, I finally got a chance to try the Aqua Allegoria. You know, I picked up Mandarin Basilico. 
love this one. Super fresh, citrusy fresh, but different because of the basil. I love this one. I love this one. It, it is like garden fresh, but you really get like this smooth, sweet citrus kind of fragrance. And then because I liked it so much, I saw them at Joma shop and I grabbed two more. I grabbed Pera Granita, which I really like, is fruity, and Grenada Salvia. They're both fruity, very, very light and translucent, not the best lasting. However, for like $50, I'm okay with that. I don't mind light, short-lived fragrances. I think they can be great um, for, you know, daytime when you know you're going to want to wear something later. But this one, mm, I just don't want to spend a lot if I know it's not going to last long. And all of these were under 100 Even the one I got in Venice, it was under $100 and I got a travel atomizer and I'm down with that. This one is, the Grenada Sylvia is a little bit more of a like rhubarb kind of fruity, um, fruity, floral, citrusy kind of fragrance. Definitely very delicate. The pear one I think I look better. It's a little bit um, juicy, sweeter kind of fruit. A little, it's definitely got that pear in there that I love. But again, very like watery, aquatic, sheer kind of fragrance that I mean, I just love these. I have to admit, I really love these. Definitely want to spray them heavy and I don't mind doing that. And I just really enjoy these in the spring, summertime, especially now when it's getting really sunshine-like and just really, the weather is really picking up nicely and I like it. I was kind of looking for a change of pace from the La Pertrice uh, Dolce & Gabbana number three. I mean, I've worn this for a few years and it's kind of along the same lines, the para. Granita, and I just, I just wanted something different and that really served the purpose. Next, I was really, whew, this is one I wanted in my collection for about a year. I had the travel atomizer and I was getting really nervous with summer coming and knowing that both my guy and I were really going to want to wear this and it's Raja Oceana. Finally, this literally came today and I can't, like, I'm so excited. They have a bundle. Um of this and Elysium and I wanted this for my guy so I got the bundle to save a bunch you know I like saving money right like I love saving money so I was excited for that but Oceana I love this it opens kind of citrusy but not a sharp citrusy it's really smoothed out with almost an aquatic type of feel. It's not like a real aquatic, but it has the smooth, creamy edges to it. And then the dry down is a gorgeous, creamy, subtle, powdery scent. Now, my guy's ride or die is this right here, the Creation E or Enigma Parfum Cologne. It opens, yes, like boozy Coca-Cola, but the dry down on him is phenomenal, like phenomenal. Every time you give him a hug and kiss hello, I'm like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. What are you wearing? Every time is this. It gives like that powdery dry down that everyone loves like Dior, Dior Homme Intense for, but it just smells a little bit better to me. It's That one can go cold iris sometimes. It's weird. It goes cold iris on him. This one is phenomenal. Definitely creamy, masculine, powdery kind of scent. However, a little bit warm, so I wanted to switch them up to this one for the summertime, which has a little bit more of a fresh feel, although pretty similar in that dry down. Plus, I like this one. I really like wearing this one a lot. So I was super excited for that. And on that note, I did get from Raja Parfums, this one was sent to me. I purchased those, but this was sent to me is Elysium O Intense, the new version. So I was super excited to try this on both my skin and my guy's skin to kind of see how this works. Honestly, I care more about him because I do know they both run masculine. Oh, hands down, this was the winner of both of us. So despite the notes, whatever they say, <laughs> what we got is this one opens like a bright citrusy, there's a little bit of aromatics in there. We get a little bit of that lavender. It's definitely heavier on that vibrant citrusness. 
with like grapefruit, lavender, grapefruit, lime, and lavender. I really got on this. This one is a creamier version. This one was grapefruit, lime, dry woods. Um, we got like a creamy citrus, like almost a creamsicle kind of, like just so much more sexy, sultry, soft than that one, which is brisk and like awakening kind of a fragrance. Yeah, I definitely get that grapefruit and lime. It's just, it's a different kind of citrus. It's not your cliche bergamot, which makes it so nice. So elegant. I love it. And then the dry down, there's a definite pepper kind of thing going on. It was again, a smooth, creamy citrus. And this was just hands down the winner. At both opening and dry down, we both liked this one better on him. Um, so here I just bought the Parfum Cologne for him. So I just got this for him and he likes this one better. I'll get him to wear this one too though. But yeah, he's like his face lit up with this one is just, yeah. So we're both way over the moon with this, but I mean, I think they're de it's a definite flanker where you can see the common denominators in it, but they're definitely different, like definitely different enough to own both or to choose one. I mean, maybe just like my guy, like one of them you'll like markedly better than the other one, but maybe you like both or you already have this one. It is definitely, let me just tell you, definitely worth trying this one. It is for sure different and better. And then finally, finally, I first tried this a year ago, well before its launch, because I was lucky enough to meet with Serhat and try this. I have been waiting a year for this baby. This was my favorite. Like this just blew me away and it is incredible for Southern California. It's great for spring, summer. It is great for me and my personal taste because I like fruity fragrances. And it's the Uniqui Luxury Mang Mango Nipiscent. And I kept telling all my friends, you gotta try this, you gotta try this, you try to try this every time it was around somewhere to try it, like a booth or something, an event. And everyone always agrees this one is amazing. It definitely first smells like you're smelling the actual fruit of mango, like a green mango, and you can smell the flesh of it, the skin of the mango. And then it's like, it starts to dry for a few minutes and it's like you you cut it open, you've diced it away from the pit and you've now like drizzled some honey on it. It's so good, oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's like you like cut it open, drizzled some honey, squeezed some lime on it. It keeps the mango for the length of it. Now he uses really high natural oils. So I do find his sillages to be phenomenal and kind of go in and out a little bit because they kind of play with you and like you may not smell it and then you'll smell it and you'll smell it and not your catch your own sillage. Whereas the people around you are like, wow, you smell amazing. It's just the way those high naturals work. But wow, I love this one. Like, seriously love this one. Um, there is a little bit of a musky base to kind of give it a little bit of longevity to it too, but I find his fragrances last a really long time. And after having samples for this, it's just so, I'm so excited to finally have a bottle of this on my shelf because love, love, love this fragrance. Um, you know I love fig fragrances, and I had been looking for a good fig fragrance. So the Lorenzo Passiagli, you're trying to, kind of starting to see these brand pop up a little bit. They are coming to the USA. They did tell me you don't have to worry about getting it from Italy. It can be expensive shipping for them too. But Adam and Eve's clothes, it is like you're standing underneath a fig tree. Now, I have fig trees here, so I'm really, really particular about my fig fragrances. And it's like you can smell the leaves flowing in the air. And then it's like you're grabbing a fig off the tree and it's perfectly, just perfectly ripe and purple and plump and just bite into it. And you get that strawberry kind of flesh and it's just, 
it's like you can also like you, you get the milk although the milk kind of burns my skin this has like this milky kind of feel like the way fig can be a little lactonic like it has that to it so even though the first blast is a little fresh and green because you're getting the leaves while you're reaching up it turns into creamy sweetness oh i love it i love it i love it yeah um Adam and, oh, Adam and Eve's dress. I thought it was Adam and Eve's clothes. It's Adam and Eve's dress. I've been calling it wrong all along. Oh, I love this one. There's like a, something kind of spice-like in here, like creamy kind of spice, not sharp spice. Almost like nutmeg-like. I can't, I honestly can't figure it out because it's a very mild spice and very, um, yeah, like creamy and subdued kind of spice. And the only thing I can think of is nutmeg with a little touch of woodiness in here. I can love this. This is, this is like one of the best fig fragrances. I really like this one. I have been looking and looking for something that is really smells like an actual fig tree. It's amazing, like, the renditions you see, and I'm like, I, I own fig trees. That does not smell like a fig tree, sorry. But this really does, and then they really get that fruit, and I just... And then actually turn it into a fragrance that you would want to wear while keeping that realistic kind of experience of a fig tree. Um, yeah, I think they just nailed this one. I absolutely love it. The other one I got from them that I absolutely love, I don't think this one is necessarily new from them. No. This one is definitely a little bit older for them, but it was new for me because this whole brand was new for me. And Extreme Passion uh, by Lorenzo Pataglia. Oh my goodness. I just, I love fruity fragrances and this one has like passion fruit and pear, fruit bowl, like all like the best fruits. And it just bursts open like that. Like think Cassiopeia or a much smoother Herbapura or Kirka, like definitely smoother. I find those sharp in comparison. Maybe like Herba Gold, perhaps. All in that realm, kind of, like that fruit, fruit bowl fruity opening. And then it has that dry down of that like vanilla musk, creamy sandalwood kind of dry down. And I just, I get so much joy out of this one. It's just fun. Like there's something so playful and like joyful about wearing fruity fragrances to me and also kind of girly. And I like that. Like, you know, I like smelling sweet and fruity. But yeah, extreme passion. And hopefully... Um, we will be getting these and then I'll tell you where you can find them because it's a little harder in the USA. In Europe, I think they've known about them, but they're definitely finally coming to the USA. So I'm really happy about this brand. Another favorite of mine is House of Siege Au Bijou. They also have all of the like home products for this one too, which I got. They had a Mother's Day special with the whole bundle. Uh, they did send me this for Mother's Day, which was amazing because this was on my list. It was in my cart and I was literally just waiting for this to go on sale with something that I wanted. And I was planning to pick this up. I had already purchased um, Whispers of Truth and Benevolence. And this was the other one that I wanted to purchase. So I was kind of happy. I was like thrilled about this. The body wash, I will tell you one pump. I notoriously out of habit will do like three pumps and then I'm like in a bubble bath in the shower. I always forget just how concentrated it is. You really need very little. So it really is worth the money for that sense. And the body balm is super rich, the body butter, like dense and luxurious. I love this and definitely highly fragranced. And then of course the candle, which you know I love their candles. So, and it came with a fragrance as well, which I already have because I love it. It is like a grapefruit, mango kind of fragrance. Whew, it's delicious. It's fruity. It's got the refreshingness of the citrus with the sweetness of the mango. There's definitely a, a sweetness, a vanilla in here. And even the fruits are really sweet. There's black currant, but I really get 
grapefruit mango is what really shines for me and on me. And then in this like sweet, powdery, caramel, vanilla kind of base. It's just, it's so good. It's a popular one. And again, sillage. I get in and out of the car and I'm blown away by the sillage and that fragrance. And it is a compliment beast because it just smells really good. Mango and grapefruit. This goes back to the Signature Collection a couple years ago, and it is still a bestseller of theirs. Still one of my favorites. I'm thrilled to have a backup bottle because it really is one of my summer favorites. I can wear this one year round. I just really enjoy it when the sun is shining and like just in this vibrant kind of mood. It just matches that mood so well and just kind of resonates with me that I just, yeah, oh, it's Bijou, yeah. Another one I just keep reaching for on these sunny days is Carnival Barcelona Supermoon. Mm. It's juicy red fruits in a very syrupy aquatic kind of feel. Like it's definitely got this um, sheer kind of feel. Like the whole house in general to me, for the most part, has a very light sheer kind of feel they're not like in your face kind of fragrances they kind of just dance around you and on your skin longevity is like okay on this i'd say the longevity is probably not the best i do spray a fair amount i do spray it on my clothes to kind of help with that but it's this like red fruit pomegranate juicy fun summer fruity fragrance that I love definitely a heavier weight than the Aqua Allegoria, definitely a heavier weight than that, and definitely lasts longer than that. Like those really kind of last a ridiculous amount of time. Um, yeah, and I'll put discount codes down below for any of these that I have. Man, I just love this one. I just, I just, it's just so fun and easy. It's, oh, yeah. it just kind of reminds me of like the girl, the cute Southern California girl bebopping all around town and like just jovial and happy and sporty. There's something very sporty about that fragrance. Even though it's a fruity, it's like got this girl athlete kind of vibe that's just very active, very outdoorsy, yet still girly, if that makes sense. And that's why I just kind of love that one too. And it just kind of resonates with me. So I, I've been getting a lot of wear out of that the other one I turn to from them is Marbella, and this is what I brought to Italy because it's just so easy, especially when traveling. It made me feel clean and fresh. And then in high heat, I'll turn to this. But right now, I'm like in the super mode. So, so those are some of the newer, well, newer to me, summer fragrances that I'm really excited to be wearing right now. And I've really been putting into rotation. I had... The travel sizes of these Rajas before I got the full bottles, so I was already wearing them and getting a little panicked that I needed those bottles. So I've been already jumping on these and just, I don't know, they're just heavy in my rotation. I'm loving them for summer. So what are you guys grabbing right now? And which fruit are you hoping I do next? Because I already know what I'm doing next. Let me know down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.